That's a church. Oh my God. Well, we start with breaking news tonight. Southwest of the Twin Cities, firefighters are battling a fire at a 146 year old church. That fire broke out just after seven o'clock tonight. It's at the Maples United Methodist Church in Norwood, Young America. Lou Ragusa is there right now. Lou, what's the latest? Well, Corey, it absolutely broke my heart to walk out here and see the look on these congregation members' faces as they watched their beloved church go up in flames. I'll give you a look at what's going on right now. Firefighters have this fire under control. It's put out right now for all intents and purposes, although there are areas that continue to smolder and every now and then they put a little more water on it to keep it under control. But let's take a look at some video that was shot by a neighbor just after seven o'clock, just after the fire started, it was fully engulfed in flames. A neighbor walking by uh, noticed the flames, told her boyfriend, they called 911. They say firefighters were here within five minutes. Now this church, it, it's known as Church in the Maples. That's what they call it here. It's a small congregation of about 15 people. You know, every Sunday they have between five and 10 people here. They just rehabbed this church because their congregation just celebrated its 160th anniversary. The building itself is 146 years old. They just repainted the whole thing, put new shingles on, and refinished parts of the inside and in the basement. I talked to one of the most active members of the congregation. Here's what she had to say. Were you here this morning? Yes, you betcha. And what's it like to come out here and see this? It's devastating. We had just finished getting it decorated for this for church, for, for Christmas. Well, she got home from doing uh, schoolwork or whatever, and she called 911 and then told me that the church was on fire. And so we just came out, and it was uh, the entranceway it was on fire. So it was coming out the front doors. It sounds like nobody was inside of the church for the fire. Uh, thankfully, no one was hurt. As for a cause, that congregation member told me that she did see a heater pulled out, out the front of the church. She thought that she remembered unplugging that heater this morning after Sunday morning services. Uh, that may be a cause, she thought, but of course right now that's still being investigated by firefighters. Firefighters here from all across Carver County working to put out this fire and preventing it from spreading to the nearby houses. That's it for now. Back yeah. to you, Corey. All right. What a beautiful church built in 1882. All right. Thank you, Lou.